Almost 400 people were enslaved on the Monticello Plantation. Many died and were buried here as well. The burial ground for enslaved people is where some 40 enslaved men, women, and children were laid to rest. I am Calvin Jefferson, a research archivist for the Getting Word Project and a descendant of three families enslaved in Monticello. Today I am glad to share with you a project we have been working on here at Monticello to better honor and protect this burial site. The results of this project are especially meaningful to me, my family, and so many others in the descendant community. The burial ground for enslaved people near the David M. Rubenstein Visitor Center is one of the locations where enslaved African Americans were buried at Monticello. We believe this land continued as a burial ground into the 20th century, but later, by the maybe the 1950s or 60s, it was largely abandoned. However, knowledge of this site survived in the local African American community, and this knowledge actually saved it in the 1970s when the Thomas Jefferson Foundation constructed the parking lots that currently surround the burial ground. We really had a lot of comments from visitors how the site looked neglected. It was hard to see the site, hard to find it, hard to access it. And so we have recently worked to redesign the site. The work to redesign the burial ground for enslaved people and to make improvements to the area surrounding the burial ground was a years long process. A group of descendants and historians and other stakeholders here at the Thomas Jefferson Foundation came together in collaboration to think ways through to improve this site. I'm descendant from at least two enslaved families here at Monticello. I found this place to be one of complete peace and solace. And I have come here when I have been at my lowest points. Since I know my family endured, how can I not? Peter Cook, the architect of the burial ground for enslaved people and the lead of this project, solicited descendant opinions on what they would like done here at this site. Descendant advisors are descendants of the families enslaved here. The Hemings family, the Granger family, the Hubbard family, the Evans, Hughes, Colbert, Hearn families, the Fawcett family, the Gillette family, and others. One of the challenges of the burial ground site is how to make sure that the burial ground site becomes a really integral part of the experience of Monticello. This is a place where we want to encourage people of all stripes, of all abilities, to be able to access this. Descendants asked that the path near the burial ground actually become a 360 degree path around the burial ground and that that path be far more accessible than it ever was before. We have now a space where visitors can come. We also have dedicated spaces for descendants. This is a space that is fundamentally important to them and to the remembrance of their ancestors. And we want to make sure we got it right. Coming into this grave site where there's designated space for descendants, driving into the parking space for descendants gave me a sense of ownership. Descendants also advised us on the signage for interpretation at this site. The new signage will happily include a painting by Jabari C. Jefferson, a descendant of the Granger, Hemings, and Evans families enslaved here at Monticello. The moment that I wanted to capture was this idea of a moment of silence. In all ceremonial aspects, there's always this time period, and it's very human. I had to have a visual tool to be able to encapsulate that. Color scheme, really dramatic shadowing, a little bit of romance and skies, dirt, mixed media. All of this makes a recipe for a dish that is sacredness, mourningness, respect, and just the overall, you know, just honor. This is a place to gather and to reflect, and of course, to remember one's history and their ancestors. All of this collaboration led to a new and improved interpretation of burial ground for enslaved people here at Monticello. I, as a descendant, I welcome others to come and celebrate my family and my family as representatives of black Americans and representatives of all Americans. As legendary civil rights activist Julian Bond remarked, at this very site in 2001. Many people who are buried in this ground were buried as property. Today, we remember them as people. 
The legacy of those enslaved here lives on, and together we continue to celebrate their lives and pay our respects at the sacred burial ground site at Monticello.